You cannot make it to round 100 in zombies while doing this challenge. The rules are simple. I'm only allowed to purchase one thing per round, and my goal is to reach round 25 by the end of this video. All right, boys. So I am trying the one purchase challenge by Apothos. I'm basically only allowed to buy one thing per round, whether that's a door, an M14, a different wall weapon, a perk or whatever. So I can only buy one thing per round. Um, So basically, this is my fourth attempt trying this on Mob the Dead, and I've failed every time. Because with Mob the Dead, a lot of you know that once you get like down to the dock area and have to get back up, there is a lot of doors you have to buy so i was down there until like round 15 i ended up just dying like every single game um so i'm hoping to actually do a different strategy this time in hopes to maybe achieve a better round. oh god don't don't hit me so i want to save the zombie just so i can go and uh buy a door for round one because we cannot waste our purchasing power so let's do this and then i think my round two purchase will be an mp5 obviously so we're gonna buy that next and yeah if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go check out apothos because he's also another zombies youtuber he has like 5k subs he does some pretty good videos so yeah if you are interested in that make sure you guys go check him out uh, I'm, i'll probably link him in the description of this video also points really aren't an issue with this challenge just because we get so many points then we can't spend them like i'll have like 30k points before i end up dying uh we don't have the key over here so the key's on the other side of the map uh that's pretty unfortunate because that's like one of the first things i need to get in order to get all the plane parts done also i think a big thing that i need to do this game is really focus on unlocking the hell's retriever because when i run out of ammo on higher rounds the hell's retriever is going to be the only thing that'll actually get me through the round i'm also pretty sure that i want to get jug as early as i I can just because it'll help me stay alive a little bit all right this door is going to be my next purchase for round three which is a thousand points i need to build up a little bit more money here all right let me just headshot these zombies and then i should be able to buy the door right now let's do that uh we'll check for the acid gap part over here there we go uh we're gonna look around here i know there's an acid gap part that does spawn in here there it is perfect also getting free things like the free blender gap is gonna help out a ton for this too all right we got the last zombie of the round here i'm gonna kill him off and then i think the next thing i want to do is i want to be able to purchase this door so i can start heading towards the jug because getting jug early is going to be crucial so round four i got to build up uh, another thousand points to get that door open hopefully i can do that real quick and obviously this thing costs 750 so i have to wait till next round to buy this but that should be doable oh i don't know maybe i should go get mp5 m instead no okay i'm gonna do the risky play it's an early round so i can still knife zombies to death we're gonna use the gondola for my round five purchase because i want to get towards jug jug is just like such a crucial thing that i need i feel like okay we're down here i have the key so i can go get this sheet or we're gonna get the shield part and the plane part right away and then i'll turn jug on and we'll do all that good stuff all right so let's go door and then i need the shield part right here i need to be as effective as i can with my uh, ammo here because i don't have enough ammo left i've got like 20 26 shots here which i'm hoping should be able to get me through this round yet oh max ammo okay perfect we're fine i also want to fill this dog up over here so uh, we're gonna focus on filling up the dog let me not die please don't spawn behind me like that oh god i don't like uh early rounds on black ops 2 just because it feels so dangerous having only two hits to die also i really want to get enough points here so i can buy jug next round because I think Jug is just one of the most important things to have for this. Especially being that it's a Black Ops 2 challenge and not Black Ops 3. Jug is so, so important. So just maximizing all of our point uh, income with the M19, obviously. And one of these here should be able to kill off a zombie and finish this dog, I think. There we go. We got one more going in. There we go. And that dog is done. Perfect. I also want to grab this plane part real quick while I'm down here. Oh, wait. Shoot. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. So obviously, we'll turn that so I can grab the plane part. And then I hate how the zombies pile up on your afterlife. Like, they they should have made the zombies pile up somewhere else i feel like or make it when you come back to life that the zombies all die like the beast mode and then we'll get jug too there we go all right i feel like getting an lmg for this challenge honestly could be great because at least with an lmg i feel like way safer than um than with an smg because smgs have no ammo all right so my round six purchase is obviously going to be jug i've said that a couple times we need that just to stay safe we'll stay here till next round we'll use the gondola i know it's a waste to use the gondola twice like that but like if i stay down here i'm literally just gonna die i need better weapons before i'm down here i also want the hell's retreat because then if i run out of ammo i'm still okay to actually do stuff so i want to get the hell's retriever before i come back down for these plane parts all right so round seven purchase we're gonna use the gondola which is only 750 points but i need out of down here because there is no good spot to train there's nothing good for me down here i think getting onto the rooftop by an early round so i have room to train uh, is definitely not a horrible idea so we're gonna go over here we're gonna run that way so we can open up the cafeteria door probably next um yeah let's go here's the part that gets rough though like there's mp5 ammo but i can't buy this round because i already bought a gondola and it's one purchase per round so it's literally it counts for anything i cannot buy ammo i cannot buy new weapons if i'm out of ammo so if i'm out of ammo i literally just got to use what's at my disposal so uh for that reason it is a little bit better that we do have a that we do have a hell's retriever on mob of the dead because if we wouldn't have that it would take way too
too long to get through these rounds later when I have no ammo. Like right now, I'm out of MP5 ammo. I can only use uh, my M19. I'm really hoping I get a max so I can buy this door for the next round. Oh, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. Touching me is specifically reserved for my uncle, bro. Get away. Get away. Just, just stay right there. All right. Double points. Don't mind if I do. Give me that. Thank you. I mean, I don't really need the double points, but okay. We're going to try something new here. We're going to chuck a nade. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That worked. That worked pretty solidly. Let's do that again. Okay, these grenades aren't bad for these early rounds. Perfect. And now I should be able to just knife these. Yes, let's go. All right. Let's uh, let's grab the nuke. That should get us through round seven. And now it comes to a game of MP5 ammo or a door. I'm thinking MP5 ammo is definitely the play. Because I need something to kill zombies. I'm almost out of M19 ammo too. So round eight, we're going to the uh, MP5 ammo. I feel like I should have maybe ran over and bought the Uzi just so I had a secondary weapon for when I run out of ammo. And then I maybe could have got a max ammo to refresh my uh, MP5, but it's okay. And uh, we'll we'll try to deal with some of these zombies. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me around. Let me around. There we go. Just kill off as many of these zombies as I can. I, I know they're going to start respawning, but I'm okay with that because I need I need to just get through round eight. This is why I need to start getting like a secondary weapon because the MP5 does not have enough ammo. I think for like round 20s and stuff, we're just going to have to get weapons that have a shit ton of ammo. Like maybe the LSAT could be good, the Galil, uh, anything else that has just a ton of ammo. Cook a grenade here and we'll do that and hopefully get most of those zombies killed. All right, there we go. Perfect. We just got crawlers left, I think. And then I do want to use my afterlife. Let's do this. Run up here and let's open the door to the bottom so I can do the laundry machine right away. And there we go. Let's revive. And then I think I'm going to go do the laundry machine. I should have activated it right away. Oh, shoot. Okay, the round just switched. So I'm not going to do this yet. We'll open it up. All right, we're going to play the risky game. I need to start making some progress. I only have 60 MP5 ammo. So we're going to play as if we're going to get a max. And we're going to buy the cafeteria door so I can start going up. I don't know how to effectively deal with him because he's going to waste through all my ammo here. Watch. Yeah, he's literally going to waste through all of my ammo. And I'm not going to get a max ammo either. Uh, this is rough. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please. Oh, okay. Double points. That's literally useless. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Good Lord. Good Lord. Okay. We're okay. Insta kill helps with him. Oh, max ammo. Okay. Perfect RNG right there. Holy crap. That luck is insane. But we got 2K to unlock the box. And that's a purchase in and of itself. We're going to kill this last zombie off. I'm going to buy the Uzi because it's the only other wall weapon I can think of. The box, I have to wait two rounds to purchase. And then it has a chance of giving me something shit like the RPG or something like that. So we're going to kill the zombie off. And then we're going to run down, buy Uzi for round 10, and sprint back over to the cafeteria as quickly as possible. So Uzi, and now we'll go back to the cafeteria. I obviously can't buy the next door till round 11, and that's this door right here. I can't really do much with that door either, because then I just have the upstairs. I can get the dog done. I can try to get the house retriever as early as possible then too. So realistically, I could get the dog done in two rounds, I think. All right, let's let's uh, let's just deal with this horde as quickly as I can. Uh, actually, it's not going to be quick though, because the MP5 does no damage. I would just like to point that out there. That also does not help for this challenge. Uh, but I think I got a max ammo back here. Yeah, I did. All right, we'll grab the max because I'm almost out of MP5 ammo. There we go and then maybe we'll use the uzi a little bit haven't played with this thing yet today the uzi's great and all but i don't think it's that like amazing of a weapon like i feel like it's just one of those really overrated smgs it has like no ammo in the clip it does okay damage and it has a fast fire rate but that's like all it has going for it honestly all right round 11 we're gonna open up this door but we're not gonna go up there yet i want to train up all the zombies i can and then we'll go up to the uh top floor once i get all the zombies trained up i'll go up and i'll uh, deal with the dog because i don't want to be in that tiny room when they're spawning uh, with only an uzi and an mp5 if only if I had the acid gat, I would feel so much safer in my situation. Okay, I should be okay to run up the stairs. Let's go. And then I'm also looking for an acid gap part right there. It is perfect. I don't know how to do this effectively because there's like almost zero training space in this room. We're just going to train like our life depends on it in here because oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, because our life literally does depend on it. If I die and lose my jug, this challenge would make round 100 literally non-doable because uh, you could only buy one acid trap around. So I guess like you could do it by using the house redeemer. Uh, but it's just not very optimal. It'll take you literally probably like 30, 40 hours to actually get around 100 on this map during this challenge. All right, zombies are still spawning too. I don't like that. Like, please, bro, get away, get away. Also, I don't know if it's better for me to like stay in the cafeteria and train or if I should go to the roof and train once I finish this up. Like, both are pretty good training areas, but I don't know what's better. I feel like probably the cafeteria because it is a little bit more uh, roomy, I guess. I do not need the nuke at all. I need the nuke about as much as my dad needed me. All right, let me afterlife this real quick. And then obviously open this door, activate the best perk in the game, Deadshot Daiquiri. Uh, we're just gonna, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. This is terrifying. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right, we're on the roof. We should be okay for now. Let's uh, let's just get through this round now and we can uh, craft a plan real quick. Even though I only have one piece to it. I mean, we, we got the wiring. That's good enough for me. I also do want to turn laundry on so I can do the laundry on round 11 yet. Uh, it'll give me more points, which I don't really need, but I feel like it's just better to get it done earlier all right let's uh turn that on and then we'll go revive ourselves and we'll do the laundry machine okay get away from me zombie get away i do not want you 
here? Why are you here? Let me just do what I need to do, which is my laundry, because I have become a female in COD Zombies. We just get like 24 zombie spawns when we uh, do the laundry, which is fantastic. Waste all my Uzi ammo over here. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Bro, this is exactly what I'm talking about, though. Like, I have 31,000 points, no perks, and nothing to spend it on because I can only buy one thing per round. Like, I feel like there's like 20 doors on this map alone. All right, there we go. We're finishing this round. Let's go grab the laundry. And then we're also going to go get the door for round 12 and grab my house retriever. There we go. Round 12, $2,000 door. House retriever. This is going to help me out so much. I want a better weapon. So I think my next purchase is probably going to be getting a better weapon. Or, ooh, I could buy double tap. Double tap's not a bad idea anyways as i was saying double tap helps me out no matter what weapon i have like if i get a bad weapon it's still gonna help me so i think going saving up and getting double tap next is probably my best best optimized situations and i think i have all the doors open for that too oh shoot i forgot i need to afterlife it oh shoot We'll turn it on. I don't know that I can come and get it, though. I think I'll do it. I'll have double tap in an MP5. It can't go that bad, right? No, no, no. We're not going out there. We're not going out there. There is literally a 0% chance I do that. I think I could train here until I get the whole horde and then go by double tap. Oh, God. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. I want my every zombie spawned in and chasing me, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is so tight. Stop. 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 That three hits, only one more hit, we would have been dead, but it's okay. Okay, maybe I can start heading for double tap now. I need to make sure I purchase it at round 13. Otherwise, I'm like wasting so much potential. We uh we run in and we grab double tap right now. And then we try to get out of here uh, without dying, I think is probably the ideal situation. And this room has a decent amount of training space. I should be able to get out of here. And then I do also want to start working towards getting the acid gas. So I think we'll just chuck this this to that corner and we got the blue skull that's one out of five if we use the retriever enough we're optimized so we don't use all of our ammo up, which is great like i'm gonna still use my ammo obviously but um retriever will keep me safe in the case that i do run out of ammo and it'll help me from running out of ammo too i'm gonna run down we're gonna buy that door and then probably get out of down here because down here is not a safe area to be literally just trying to progress through the game so we'll buy that door and then we get out of here hold my retriever retriever keeps me safe at night we're literally just running an mp5 jug and uzi and a double tap and we're on round 14 right now Okay, I don't need points, so I might as well take the nuke, right? And then deal with Buddhist as quickly as I can. There we go. Get out of here, Buddhist. Get out of here, buddy. We're not that close, pal. We're not that close. Like, I got 39k points, and I can never spend them. So if I get nukes, I'm just going to take them. I feel like I'm training this the wrong way, too. Like, I need to be going the opposite direction like this. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, nuke. We'll take the nuke. I do got to make sure I buy something on round 15. Otherwise, I'm literally not optimizing at all. Run down just so I can open up the next door, and we get that done at least for round 15. Okay, also, while we're here... Let's just get the, uh, let's get the ropes done. We got four, two, six. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I'm so stupid. I forgot about the key. There's no way I just failed that that hard. Yikes. Four, two, and six. There we go. All right, let's run back up. Let's go grab the wires done. There we go. We got that part. And then looking for a shield part out here. Uh, yeah, here it is. There. We got the uh, the cage piece. Uh, I can't open this door yet. And then the second it changes to 16, we buy this door and then we sprint out. Okay, 16, buy the door and then we run. Bro, the jug and double tap colors on this map look so similar. Literally the same exact thing. All right, we'll just Uzi these real quick. Dude, the Uzi gets two kills with a clip now. Like, this is just not optimized. The Hell's Retriever is, like, the only thing, like, actually putting in work right now. And I even have double tap, too. That sucks. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me through. Please let me through. Please let me through. Please let me through. No, 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 no. Don't touch me like that. Don't. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Get the frick away, bro. Stop, 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 stop. We've made it so far. I'm just not ready to lose this challenge. All right, I think this is end of round. Yes? All right, round 17. I should maybe be able to go uh, get the plane finished this round, but I don't want to leave yet because I do want to get, like, the acid gat and some other stuff done first. All right, we got to use our best pro training skills right here. Uh, everything that uh, Ali A has taught me over the years with zombies. Dude, not having the acid gat training the uh, the cafeteria is actually terrifying. We, we need to keep the house retriever to be usable when I'm in this area. Ooh, instant kill don't mind if i do don't mind if i do at all all right we got we got a slow zombie over here all right this door is already purchased i need to look around for the uh this thing there we go we got that this should be our door for round 17 and then afterlife and we got one and then another computer should be there and then one more in here and then i think that's everything i need here done we're gonna try this pull now i guess all right there we go i got that full all right and then you should be able to reach this one without going on the gondola which is a lot of help Maybe not. Maybe I can't reach it. I don't know. All right. We got it there. Perfect. I also kind of want to get speed cola because I feel like that's going to be a useful perk as well. All right. There it is. It's on the toilet. Perfect. And then we can open up this door. Grab the last engine part. Thank you. Let me grab that. And then let's go grab the last blunder grab piece too, which should be right on top of this light pole. Let's go there. 
There we go. All right, and then we got free blunder gat. Okay, I can build the acid gat right here, and then obviously convert my blunder. Dude, let me through. 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 Okay, get my acid gat out of there real quick. Perfect. And then we're gonna go make the shield, and I should be able to go on to round 18 and just finish crafting the zombie shield. And let's grab that. That's gonna help out a ton as well. And now we got MP5 acid gat zombie shield. This is making me feel like I'm in a better situation for sure. And then my round 18 purchase is gonna be unlocking the box and really hoping Brutus doesn't come back and relock it because that is so annoying and uh dude my shield is gonna break so quick doing this so so quick at this point i'm just trying to get some decent weapons and then i'll probably move out of this uh or i'll, I'll go to the bridge so i can pack a bunch of stuff oh good lord i don't like training like this dude leave me alone please leave me alone please leave me alone bro it's gonna be like round 25 before i end up even pack a punching bro all right we got our first box out of the game round 19 please give me something solid okay i will take the pdw the pdw is solid bro my house retriever is falling off though i need to go get the house redeemer bro Oh, good lord. Please don't. Please don't. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. We're okay. I think, shoot, we might as well just go uh, hit the plane, right? Like, we got the PDW. That's a solid enough weapon. I mean, one of my all-time favorite SMGs right here is the PDW. No no point in waiting. We can get round 20. We can pack punch one of my weapons, and then we can get round 21, pack punch my other weapon. Let's just craft it. I got to use my tomahawk because I think I got to get a certain amount of kills using only a tomahawk. I get like 115 kills with only the tomahawk on the bridge, and then I should be good to uh, actually get the Hell's Redeemer version of the uh, tomahawk. All right, this should be the end of round 19. If only the house retriever would actually kill stuff more, that would help out a ton. Bro, it has to have been years since I've actually upgraded the PDW, but here we go. One of the best pack bunch camos through all of COD uh, Zombies history. I love it. I love it so much. I don't think it's as good as like Origins or Rev or stuff, but like it's so good. All right, I should be able to wait just around 20 pack bunch, and then I should be able to leave from here, I think. But I do want to get my Acid Gat pack bunch first, so I have the uh, Ventralic Withering instead of the Acid Gat. It, it always goes for the zombies. Can you please just go for Brutus, dude? He's so annoying. He just makes my life so much... It, it's not even difficult. It's just an inconvenience that's, like, so annoying. All right, there we go. We got the second Brutus down. Perfect. Once I'm fully set up like this, I feel way safer. Like, rounds, like, I'd say probably 12 to 18 were definitely the hardest. Just until I got the Acid Gat. Now with the Acid Gat, dude, it's, like, so much easier because I have, like, that safety net, you know? All right, come on. This one? This one better kill you, pal. There we go. There we go. All right, we got that. We're going to throw this in the pack Munch machine as soon as round 21 hits. And then let's just get the hell out of here before I die. All right. And then I actually have to do all of round 21 without the house retriever. So that's kind of rough. There we go. Got that done. It's okay. We got the PDW now, which actually not that horrible. It's pretty solid for round 21. Love that. Dude, this thing is so powerful. I miss this weapon so much. Probably my all-time favorite SMG. The PPSH is great, but the PDW, there's just something so satisfying about this weapon. All right, now if I remember correctly, I can go grab my Hose Redeemer, which should, yeah, it's still here. We can just grab this. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'm going to save my PDW ammo for Mr. Buddhist. Let's, uh, let's just deal with Buddhist real quick. Hi, Buddhist. Bye, Buddhist. Also, I think I want to go get speed cola because I can just like use my extra buys on whatever leisures I want now. Do I have this activated? All right, this is activated. Let's grab a speed cola right here. That's my round 22 purchase. Okay, last two zombies. We're just going to put them down with the Hell's Redeemer because I feel like it's fitting. Actually, I lied. That's not the last two zombies. Damn, bro. It's okay though because we're still going to put him down with the Hell's Redeemer. All right, now just because I feel like I'm in a position where I can casually flex, we're going to spend my round 23 on Acid Trap. Yo, just kill 24 zombies with my uh, 1,000 points because that's that's a good use. All right, let me, let me out of here. Dude, stop. Stop attacking me. You're not allowed to touch me, bro. The fact that I just wasted my round purchase on killing 24 zombies. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It was, in fact, the round, boys. Let's go. I I'm literally just going to keep flexing on the zombies because, you know, they, they made me lose this challenge four times. I got to flex on them now. Dude, this puts through my rounds so quickly, too. Like, one acid trap and a couple tomahawks, and that's round. Eat my PDW, bro. My PDW has more riz than you, man. Ooh, nuke. Okay. We beat the challenge, and if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out this video of me ranking every single Call of Duty weapon from worst to best.